Hey there, happy National Aviation Day. My name is Seth Mayo. I'm the curator of astronomy for the Lohman Planetarium. And for this program, we're gonna celebrate all things aviation. Now this day was originally enacted in 1939 by President Franklin Roosevelt. It actually marks the birthday of Orville Wright, of Wright Brothers fame, those two brothers who made the first heavier than air power flight from Kitty Hawk, North Carolina in 1903. I'm a pilot myself. I love aviation. I originally went to Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University to fly before I started flying through the universe in our planetarium. And you might be wondering, why do I have the planet Mars behind me? Well, it just so happens that NASA just launched another rover to the red planet. It's called Perseverance. And Perseverance is carrying with it a small drone helicopter that will hopefully by next year, make the first powered flight on another world, on the planet Mars, which is very, very exciting. So in this program, we're gonna talk about drones and how they're so vital to aviation on Earth, how we're using them on Mars and in other worlds in the solar system. And we're gonna have a chance to build a small paper helicopter from NASA that we'll do at home. We had the unique opportunity to celebrate aviation back in 2018 when I curated, alongside Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, an exhibition called Milestones in Aviation. Embry-Riddle brought over their experimental hybrid gas electric airplane, various engines from aircraft through history, and we borrowed very detailed aircraft models from hobbyists from around the community. One part of the exhibit that stood out to me was a small drone octocopter from Embry-Riddle. This was one of the earliest drones they built, which was originally used to study crop health in farms remotely. Now a drone, or an unmanned aerial vehicle, or UAV for short, is an aircraft that does not have a human on board, and so they can be flown remotely or autonomously. Drones are now a major part of aviation with an increasing number of low-cost consumer versions that are available, which many of you may already have of your own. Using them for recreation, taking aerial images, and even for drone racing, which is pretty interesting to watch. A big breakthrough in drone technology comes from the advancement of the computers and stabilization systems that allows anyone to fly these aircraft with a simple controller or even your phone. And since they have very good stabilization characteristics, they can be built of any shape and size where aerodynamics are not as vital. In addition to consumer use, these aerial vehicles are currently being used in many commercial and industrial applications, from agricultural purposes and farming, disaster relief, filmmaking, journalism, the military, and even to take really cool footage of the MOAS front entry court. But what is very exciting are the drones being sent to other worlds within our solar system. Ingenuity is the name of the small drone helicopter attached to the Perseverance rover they'll be looking for the signs of past life on Mars. Once Perseverance makes it to the red planet early next year, Ingenuity will eventually be released to hopefully make short experimental flights around Mars while taking images from above. These Martian hops serve as demonstration flights to provide data and science for how drones and aircraft can be developed and used on other worlds. Developing Ingenuity was definitely a major challenge for engineers here on Earth since the drone had to be lightweight and strong, able to endure extremely cold temperatures down to negative 130 degrees Fahrenheit, and be capable of flying in the thin Martian atmosphere, which is only 1% as dense as Earth's. This is the equivalent of flying about 100,000 feet up in our own atmosphere. To make flights on Mars possible, Ingenuity's rotor blades had to be made of carbon fiber and rotate at 2,400 RPMs, much faster than helicopters here on Earth. Careful tests were conducted to simulate the thin atmosphere and chilly temperatures that Ingenuity would endure at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California before the launch. Looking even further into the future, NASA has plans for a robotic drone mission all the way out to Saturn's large moon Titan. Known as Dragonfly, this mission is slated for launch in 2026 and will bring this rotorcraft to the surface of Titan in 2034. The mission will take our technology to the edge as scientists hope to remotely explore this far-off moon with a thick nitrogen atmosphere similar to Earth's, lakes and rivers of methane, water ice, 
organic compounds, and even past or present life. The mission will further the reach of aviation through the exciting use of drones. All right, so let's try to build our NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory paper helicopter. This is an activity provided by them, and we can build this to celebrate National Aviation Day and also helicopter type craft, since we've been talking about kind of drone rotor craft in this video. So if you go online to the Jet Propulsion Laboratory's website for this activity, you can go there yourself and download the instruction list and also download these templates. And they'll give you a template with two different uh, vehicles on here. And if you don't have a printer, that's okay too. You can look at the template online and draw what you see. And then make sure you draw the dotted lines and draw the solid lines. Because the dotted lines are where you cut and the solid lines are where you fold. So let's get to cutting it out. All right, so we'll start cutting it and I'll first start cutting the outside where these dotted lines are. Now, once we cut out the main part of this helicopter, just make sure you cut these little dotted line tabs here too, but don't cut all the way in. All right, so now we've made all our appropriate cuts. We're gonna start folding this. So we'll start with folding the rotor blades at the top here, okay? That's where it says A and B. So what we'll do is we'll fold along this solid line. You can start with uh, A here or B, either one, and you can fold A one direction and B another. And so you can do it either way, it doesn't really matter. So we'll start with A and we'll fold down this way you can see that and then we'll have B here and we'll fold the opposite way along the solid line as best we can open it up and you should start seeing kind of the very simple rotor blades and then down here where the fuselage is we can fold the X and the Y kind of this way or inwards so we'll start with X in this long line here and we're gonna fold towards the other side along that solid line. Like that. And then we'll take the Y and we'll fold that one towards where the X is. So you should be seeing something like this. And the last step is to take the Z at the bottom or see that fold and we can fold that upwards. This part serves as sort of the ballast or the weight of your rotorcraft or helicopter. So after you've completed this, you can try to fly it. Um, and as you fly it, you know, you can see what you can do to change the flight characteristics. Maybe you want to fold it slightly different for each flight. You can change where the fold begins. You could change where this fold is and see how that affects the flight. Um, you could recreate this and make these rotors longer or shorter. So you can just experiment with this and see how you can change how this flies. And of course, don't forget to add your own design features on here, your own style, maybe your own scientific instruments. You can imagine that you're recreating a mission on Mars or Titan or your own mission with your own helicopter or drone. So let's fly it ourselves. All right, so let's try to fly my paper helicopter on Mars. Nice.